Welcome to Ghana. Come home to Ghana. Yay! Why would you want to be anywhere else but right here? We're people of the sun. Come home to Ghana. Anyone can make it in Ghana. Absolutely anyone can make it in Ghana. Even more so if you're young, free and single, take a chance. What's to lose? Come home to the sun. Free and single. Free, free, free at last. Everyone can be free. Just take that chance. Stop second guessing. Stop overthinking. Especially if you're someone that believes in the Lord. Pray. Prayer conquers all. Come home to Ghana. You can make it. You yes. can do it. Wow. Hello and welcome back again to another amazing episode. My name is Hayford. If you don't know who I am, I'm a content creator, a cinematographer. And this is the Diaspora Transition episode where I interview people who moved back from the diaspora and currently living here in Ghana and doing some great things here. So on this episode, I have someone very special, you know, a family who decided to leave the United Kingdom, you know, to live in Ghana. And they are on the show. Without further ado, Hello, hi, my name is Fiona um, and I am mum to Jones, Ava and Mia and we make up a part of the Jam Fam family. So the Jam family and they're here on the continent. So my first question before anything, why did you decide to come to Ghana, to even move to Ghana? Well, my first question before anything would be, <laughs> why not move to Ghana? Wow. Why not? Wow. Um, I think we're one of the only nations mm -hmm. that you get that question. Um, if you were to say to the Chinese man, you've gone to China, mm -hmm. would he be asked the question, mm -hmm. why have you yes. come to chi gone to China? Yes. Um, we've come to Ghana because the children's dad, my partner, that he's Ghanaian. Okay. Um, we've been coming to Ghana for the last 20 years now, or I have been. Okay. Um, the children have been coming to Ghana since they're two years old. Mm. Wow. And we're here because it feels like home. Wow. Wow. It, but what is your first impression when you got here, though? I mean, you've been here back and yep. forth, but the first time you ever... Uh, where, where's where's your um, um, heritage? Heritage. Heritage is Jamaican. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I lived in Jamaica when I was seven years old. I went okay. back to Jamaica with my grandma, oh. um, and I lived there until thirteen. So maybe I've had that kind of mm -hmm. the culture, mm -hmm. really. You mm -hmm. know, this kind of background and yes. area yes. is as exactly like, like the Jamaica. area that I came from in, in Jamaica. Wow. Manchester, Mandeville. Wow. It looks very much like this. Wow. And um, I'm here, so wow. everything since we've come here has just lined up to say this is where you should be. And why would you not want to be anywhere mm -hmm. else? Why mm -hmm. would you want to be anywhere else? Yeah. Well, I will officially welcome you to Ghana. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome to Ghana. So tell me, what was your first impression when you got to Ghana the first time ever? Okay. Well, um, seeing as you say first impressions, um, my first impression or the person that has had the most impression on me mm -hmm. is my mum. So okay. let's open this bottle of champagne okay. that my mum gave me two years ago. Wow. Um, so I think now is a perfect occasion to yeah. open it and yeah. raise a toast to my mum. Wow. She likes to be called Fluffy. Fluffy. So um, okay. let's not fluff up the champagne, <laughs> but let's open this, you know, okay. and let's raise a it. toast to my mum, Fluffy. Okay, this is for... Fluffy, right? So which one Fluffy, are we opening? She'll like that. <laughs> which one? This one? Yeah, that one, yeah. Okay. Wow. Is it in the shot? No. Oh, I should sit. Okay. So we are opening the champagne. This is from... My mum. My, your mum, right? Fluffy. Her name's Marcia. Marcia, um, okay. But she likes to be called Fluffy. I'm okay. sure she'll Can be you help me, though? Because... Do you want me to help you? Yeah, are you please. sure? Yeah. Okay, let me give that a go. I'm yeah. sure you could... Uh, there you go. Yeah, so she, she gave this to me. Wow. And so I just think it's appropriate. So you kept it for so so long? Kept it for so long, just for the right moment. Okay. And today happens to be that moment. Um, That's beautiful. As I often mention on um, our Instagram mm -hmm. page mm -hmm. and in general, mm -hmm. um, I'm the type of person that goes with the flow. Okay. And I just feel like today. So this is in wow. celebration and a big, big up to my mum, Marcia. Fluffy! Fluffy. Whoa. There you go. Cheers. Beautiful. Health, Cheers. wealth, strength, and all the best for the future. Amen. 
You can pour, or should I pour? Let me pour for you. Okay, thank you. I'll be a gentleman. Thank you so <laughs> <laughs> oh. It, does it has to be full or half? Just keep going. Whenever okay. you feel like it, whatever you feel like mm -hmm. is good with me. Okay. Perfect. I think this is... Beautiful. Cheers. Yeah. And then this is for um, myself. Yeah. Okay. How many percent alcohol? Let's just, just <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so, cheers to Fluffy. Cheers. All right. Let me take a sip. Hmm. Wow. Very nice. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. You so we we as in Ghana and we have champagne here. We are living large. Did you expect to see something like this when you came to uh, Ghana? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, I do. So yeah. you didn't have any stereotype of Africa before you came? Uh well I've been coming for twenty years. Mm. Um and like I say, mm -hmm. Ghana is very much like Jamaica. Okay. So you'll have the rural areas and you'll have the country and you'll mm -hmm. have the city. So, mm -hmm. you know, no, this is, this is just gorgeous. It just feels like home to me. I okay. don't have a stereotype about it, no. Okay, that's beautiful. So I interviewed other, you know, family and they said the UK is not a place to raise your kids. And I saw you brought your kids with you to Ghana. Is that the same case? Um... I wouldn't say that the UK isn't the place to mm -hmm. raise children. Mm -hmm. I'm very mindful mm -hmm. of um, that kind of wording mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. for me, I'm someone that believes that everyone has the right to make their own decisions. Mm -hmm. And just because I'm now in Ghana, I wouldn't say it's mm -hmm. not. I mean, for 15 years, mm -hmm. I raised, well, we, we raised mm -hmm. our daughter there and the twins are 10. Mm -hmm. So every family has to make the decision as okay. to what's right for them. Okay. Um, for me, with a young black son um, approaching, getting ready for secondary school, it wouldn't be my first choice. Okay. However, there are other areas. Not every area in the UK is unsuitable mm -hmm. for black families. Okay. Okay. But what would you say triggered the move back? Because it doesn't mean for the family, but for you yourself, yeah. what triggered it? Because honestly, we used to know UK to be the, the, the land of all the opportunities. If you want to really live large or be at whatever, is the UK, but you're saying no, why, why wouldn't you come to Africa? Yeah, why but would what you? what triggered, what changed that mindset for I've you? I've always known that the UK um, wasn't my long-term home. It's okay. been something that I've always said. Mm -hmm. um, so that has always been, so I think I've just manifested it. The time mm. has been right for okay. us to come as a family. Okay. I think the UK can be right for people. Um, and it is right for people, but it's just not right for us okay. right now. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So I normally ask this question. You must be seeing something here that we are not seeing because it's a different story when I ask fellow Ghanaians yeah. and they want to go to the US, UK, all these places. And you are saying, no, it's quite the opposite for me. Yeah. What are you seeing that we are not seeing here? What I'm seeing is that I think when black people finally come back together and mm -hmm. finally unite, mm -hmm. I think we'll be surprised as to what we could actually achieve. Mm -hmm. um, look at where we're coming from. Mm -hmm. My ancestors are of slaves. Wow. My grandmother, oh God, I hate, I hate to have to start speaking about her whenever I mention her. Wow. Very she, emotional. Extremely. <laughs> but it's fine. She, she's coming from um, having one pair of shoes Wow. In the roof. That's what she told me. Wow. And that's where I'm coming from. Wow. So why would you not want to come back to your own home? Wow. I think that's going to be the end of my tears because but, <laughs> but whenever I mention my gran, wow. I get really emotional. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But why, why would we not want to come back to this? Wow. The green land and mm -hmm. build up our own land. Mm -hmm. Why would we not want to do that? Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm not pretty when I cry, so... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> we so can cut it if you want to have a moment. No, no I mean, I, just, I keep it natural. You don't really yeah. have to cut. I just say it as it is. But, but it's so emotional to you, and I really understand. She you died think... 14 years ago, and wow. for me, it's still like yesterday. Wow. 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 What would you say that um, taught you? Taught me? The, what they had to go through, um, the history. Ex yeah, exactly. She 
taught me. I mean, you know, that's the, the way, the reason why I am the way that I am and mm -hmm. as strong as I am is her foundations. Wow. You know, she was a strong lady. Um, everyone called her Nanny. Mm. Mm -hmm. and nanny of the maroons mm -hmm. um, on the drive up here i think i saw maroon something another so again i know it's all about the vibes it's all about the energy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i know she's around mm -hmm. wow. this that i'm wearing here i mean you know yeah. it means everything to yeah. me this is from i've got two um father-in-laws mm -hmm. unfortunately they've both passed away yeah. this was owned by granddad bill and again mm. for a moment such as this i wow. remember when i um, my mother-in-law um, had some of his things and I said, oh, I'd love this. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's all, and again, this helps me to be grounded and mm -hmm. to be humble okay. because he was a humble man. Mm. And I think we had a conversation about being humble. Just because you're humble, it doesn't mean mm -hmm. you can't be extravagant, you right. can't right. like nice things, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but just to be humble in the way that you carry yourself. But back to the original, why would mm -hmm. we not want to mm -hmm. come back home mm -hmm. Why would we not want to come back and build up our own country? Mm -hmm. Why yeah. would you not want to? Because do you think we've been lied to? I haven't been lied to mm. because fortunately I've come from a family of um, strong women. Okay. Um, my mum's side of the family, it's mainly females mm -hmm. and all of the females are very, very strong. Wow. And we're very straight talking people. Mm -hmm. We say things how it is. Mm -hmm. We don't say things or do things for pretenses. Mm -hmm. Some people will look at me now and not like me. <laughs> and that's just one of those things. And then other, mm -hmm. and other times people will. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, I haven't been lied to because we're honest people. Mm -hmm. We just say things how it is. Wow. And I think the foundation, like I say, interestingly, um, an area such as this as well in Christiana, my nan's um, auntie, her husband was called Captain. Hmm. So and now he, Captain. And captain, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, why? I, well. just, I just think we need to unite, basically. Mm -hmm. We just all use, need to unite, all come together and build up our own countries. And there are opportunities. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere you look. As mm -hmm. you're landing into Accra, you can literally feel it. I can see that change from 20 years ago. You can see the change in the airport. You can literally see the construction as you're landing in. It does, well, to me, most recently, mm -hmm. three weeks ago, it did feel as though you're landing into the land of the promised land. Wow. So why would um, local Ghanaians want to go to the UK for wow. what? Because mm -hmm. you will, unless you've got a plan, mm -hmm. anything you're doing in life, mm -hmm. Granddad Bill said the same thing, you have to plan. So if you're wow. going there with a plan, I get it, but you can't go there and get caught up because okay. you will. Wow. Now, before we get into um, making it on the continent, mm -hmm. okay, um, tell me when you told your kids, the first time you remember telling your kids, hey, I want us to go to Africa, yep. move to Africa, told your families and friends, what was the feedback you got? Well, they've always known, and mm. their dad's Ghanaian, and okay. he made the transition a year before us. Okay. Um, the children have always wanted mm -hmm. to be here. Okay. Um, so you can obviously ask them a bit more as to what their feelings yeah. are on that, because okay. we're raising independent children. Okay. Um, but as far as I understand, yeah, they were delighted, they are delighted to be here. Okay, that's beautiful. So, you know, people comment on the videos. You know, we have a wonderful conversation all the time and we spoke very nicely about Africa mm -hmm. but people are saying we are overrating or we are talking too good about Africa so I want to balance it up yeah okay it can't be all roses there might be some challenges what would you say has been some of the greatest challenges you know you face since yep. you moved you moved back to Ghana uh, okay so um, it's not all roses mm -hmm. and um, for me if at the end of this interview, someone felt as though mm -hmm. it's too much roses, mm -hmm. then that is what it is, because mm -hmm. I just say things how it is. Mm -hmm. The only challenges that I've had so far mm -hmm. is, it's unfortunate that the country is obviously a Christian and Muslim, so it's a faith-based country. Yes. Every corner there's a church. Mm. Every Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you might hear a church. Yes. So therefore, people believe in God. Mm -hmm. But yet, I have come across quite a lot of dishonest people, people okay. unfortunately. Wow. So then I try to add the two together and say, if you're so much into faith and you're so much into believing God, how can you be so dishonest? And in the experiences I've had is more like with Bolt, for instance. Mm -hmm. 
or I've only used Bolt, I've not used um, Uber here as yet. And the drivers, they don't end the trip. Oh, wow. When they're supposed to. They drive miles off and end it when they feel like. So it, they have an impression that obviously I'm made of money, which is mm -hmm. not the case. Mm -hmm. So, and even if it was the case, just be honest, especially mm -hmm. if you're a regular church goer. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one of the challenges. Mm -hmm. um, roads can be a challenge, but mm -hmm. I'd much rather have these roads and this comfort rather mm -hmm. than smooth roads mm -hmm. and the discomfort and the stress that you wow. can get in the West. Wow. For me, it's a small compromise. Well, what are some me. of the discomfort you had in the West? Is Apart that from uh, what we said earlier on. Everything is a bill. Everything is a bill. I mean, I gave up driving my car um, probably about two years ago, and that was a part of in the planning and transition to get here mm -hmm. um, but even so you can't drive anywhere you can't park anywhere you wow. can't without getting a congestion charge mm -hmm. or without getting a parking ticket <laughs> so it, they make things a lot more difficult for wow. you and opportunities that we've had we've only been here three weeks on Sunday mm -hmm. and you know my daughter she's had the opportunity we've met some great people like wow. yourself mm -hmm. like Miss Drew yeah. Um, MX24 GH, mm -hmm. they've had Mia on their show on mm -hmm. Foodie Friday. Mm -hmm. And you just find that when you're around your own people, they're more willing to give you um, an opportunity. So the challenge, those challenges of um, roads, um, the unfortunate dishonesty, and the biggest one for me has been the Wi-Fi. <laughs> and I mean, and what is that to complain about? So, you know, it's like, making compromises mm -hmm. really so that mm -hmm. for me so far it's only mm -hmm. three weeks in mm -hmm. obviously holidaying is totally different to um living mm -hmm. but so far living three weeks i can't believe it's three weeks <laughs> and it's been an absolute joy wow and i would say like i keep on saying wow. every person of black heritage doesn't have to permanently move back mm -hmm. but at least visit come okay. and see your home come and see your country come and see where you've come from because wow. ultimately we are africans wow that's very beautiful. You know, um, would you say you are more happier when you, you move back than you were in the uh, UK? I'm absolutely overjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely overjoyed, 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 literally. But, uh, <clears throat> but as you said earlier on, the infrastructure in the UK is obviously very better than it is in, in Ghana here. How are you adapting as in coming from, you know, a, a developed nation where, you know, everything is, is perfect, but here roads, you know, doesn't really work properly. Your, your, your light, go, you know, goes off any time, the yep. water, you can be under the shower, I always say, and then the water just go off and you yep. have to find a back end. How are you adapting to all these things here? Because I'm a positive person mm. and um, failure to prepare is preparation to fail. Okay. So if you're aware of these things, then mm -hmm. you find a solution. There are always going to be positive people and there are always going to be negative people. Okay. And there are people in between. Okay. And I like to spend my time being positive and finding solutions rather than finding the problem or okay. focusing on the problem. So it is what it is for now. Mm -hmm. um, that was something that my son, uh, we were supposed to come 10 days uh, we were booked to come on the 10th of December okay. um, and then on the 9th of December we heard that um, or the week before whatever it was no the 9th we heard that by the 19th you had to be double vaccinated Wow! so we had to cancel our plans and my son was like it is what it is and mm -hmm. that for me meant everything that the children are that resilient mm -hmm. that you know you can get problems but mm -hmm. dwell on the positive find the solutions don't mm -hmm. if you focus on negative yeah you'll get more negative i like the, i like that you, i like what what you said because i usually ask people do you think these challenges would ever make you feel like oh i'm done i'm packing my bag and leaving mm. do you think what you've been through or, or, or would you know push you to be like okay i'm done with this country and leave i i don't think so but anything can happen okay. you know i i don't feel like that mm -hmm. i'm very interested to mm -hmm. see what the journey okay. is going to be like mm -hmm. um but for now i don't see you know i haven't got any immediate plans okay. to be rushing okay. back okay so will you say with all these inconveniences you're still comfortable in ghana extremely comfortable okay extremely i mean they're, they're small mm -hmm. inconveniences okay. and it makes you realize how I mean, the West makes you want everything fast and mm -hmm. everything quick and everything now. Mm -hmm. So it just makes you realize that 
I'd rather have a lot less if that is the case and okay. enjoy all of this. Okay. So based on what you've seen and experienced so far, if people are watching right now from the diaspora yeah. and, you know, family, they want to make the, this big move. Yeah. Okay. You've been here, you know the ups and downs. Yeah. What would, what would be the best three advice for them? The best advice I say to anyone to do with anything, not necessarily just with, you know, mm -hmm. returning back home. Mm -hmm. Always follow your mind. Again, my gran, I won't cry <laughs> anymore. Mm -hmm. My gran always said to me, if you follow your mind, you won't go wrong. Follow your mind. Your mind always tells you. Mm -hmm. If you think something, it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. I think once you actually get the, the chance to slow down, take a step back and think, the universe is the universe. It's mm -hmm. always giving you messages. Just wow. get a chance to listen to the messages. Follow your mind. Don't go by what other people. Don't look at this and think, oh, it looks lovely. I want to come. Mm -hmm. Go with what your mind says. Pray. Mm. Pray, pray, pray. Wow. And the Lord, he will answer you. Pray and you'll get your answer. So okay. just go with your gut. Go with your mind. Wow. But come home. <laughs> <laughs> but do you think Anna is home, though? For me, it's home. Mm. For me, it's home. And um, with, from Jamaican heritage, mm -hmm. Um, more likely I am from Ghana mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so yeah it does feel like home to me and obviously I could go to Jamaica mm -hmm. uh, if I wanted to um, but I've always felt that Can Ghana is home for okay. me okay wow so let's let's dive in, into a little bit of business mm -hmm. okay you've been here I think you've seen us a lot of opportunities yep. arising or businesses that you know might be successful if you you um, invest in mm -hmm. what would you say uh, would be the best three business ideas you would you know for sure mm -hmm. if someone watching right now should yep. invest they would make some profit it's a gift for the viewers by the it's way it's a gift for the viewers. <laughs> okay firstly i think in any business you do mm. if you find a job that you enjoy doing mm -hmm. it's not a job mm. so for instance i mean i like talking <laughs> so if there were any opportunities for me mm -hmm. within um, you media. Know, presenting media I'd be open to that okay. so ultimately whatever you enjoy doing mm -hmm. do so I think anything you like doing there's a possibility for it mm -hmm. within Ghana because okay. Ghana is emerging mm -hmm. it's growing mm -hmm. um, my daughter she likes cooking her mm -hmm. dad's a chef mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. are lots of opportunities mm -hmm. for within food I think food is a huge yes. potential mm -hmm. because you know you've got all these different cuisines um, Ghanaians like to try new things. Mm -hmm. People like to try new foods. Yes. So food could be a good business. Okay. Um, I've recently qualified as a fitness instructor as well. Oh, wow. Um, so, you know, there are fitness opportunities. Mm -hmm. So anything you enjoy doing, mm -hmm. wow. come home and do it. Let's talk about the fitness. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Are you doing it for business though? Because you can put it out there because people want to be healthy. People want to be healthy. <laughs> and again, I mm -hmm. believe that nothing happens before it's time. Okay. Um, this location that we're at, yes. by coincidence, I mean, you can probably talk a bit more about mm -hmm. it, but this is an ideal location also. Yes. Um, I was speaking to the owner when mm -hmm. I arrived and, you know, I'm definitely going to be speaking to him. Yes. Um, because this could be good for a re retreat. Retreat, yeah. And I'm finding that I'm in a really strong manifestation period whereby mm -hmm. anything that I'm actually wanting mm -hmm. it's coming to it, it's yeah. literally coming mm -hmm. and it's just yeah. literally everything that I'm wanting mm -hmm. and something like this, this. <laughs> is what I was wanting and <laughs> we rock up here mm -hmm. so I think there's opportunities for anyone for anything okay. within the field that you enjoy doing but again it just goes back to praying mm -hmm. it goes back to following your mm -hmm. mind and okay. following your guts okay so um, what what are you doing here on the continent business wise yourself okay. Again, very, 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 very blessed. I, mm -hmm. You know, I'm just very, very blessed. When we've always known that we wanted to relocate, and okay. as I said, my partner, he relocated mm -hmm. um, a year before. And um, my job, I work currently for a distributor within baby and maternity within mm -hmm. the UK. Mm. Um, small team, but I look after the key accounts. Okay. So developing and growing those those accounts. Okay. And um, I told my boss at the time that I was going to be relocating to Ghana. Wow. And again, blessed prayer. I didn't know what I was going to do, mm. but the job has come with me. So, wow. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, I normally ask people this question. Okay. Do you think Ghana is better than the UK? You so, can yeah. answer with all honesty. With all honesty, for me. And for our family, um, Ghana is a million times better 
than the UK wow. um, for the reasons I've already stated, for the opportunities the children have already had. Mm -hmm. And you literally see the growth and the development within the children. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jones in particular, he's like growing in front of our eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You grow quicker, you enjoy better, yeah. you've got the sun. You learn a lot too. You learn a lot too. You know, that obviously we've got a lot to get, get them into schools mm. and mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. But for our family, I, I'd hate to say, you know, it's better and then people that are in the UK, it's mm -hmm. bad for you. No, mm -hmm. for our family, okay. it's better. Interesting. I love, I love, I saw your daughter, Mia, on yep. TV mm. and she was cooking and I'm like, wow. And I, it's a blessing seeing you guys move back and everything that you wanted to do is happening. Yeah. And what I was comparing, will it have been like visible to get her on TV or like she would be on TV in the UK? Do you think, or? I think if it was her um, road, mm -hmm. it would be a potential okay. because like I say, we're big manifestors, mm -hmm. we're big believers in God. Mm -hmm. What's meant to be is gonna be, mm -hmm. but I don't think it would have been as quick and as easier Easy. okay. as it has been here yeah. wow. she would have had 100 percent have had those opportunities she has had mm -hmm. people that have um supported her okay big shout out to millie underscore taylor m-i-l-l-i mm -hmm. okay. underscore taylor mm -hmm. t-a-y-l-o-r mm -hmm. please 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 check her out people she okay. has been a very very strong supporter okay. of mia in the wow. uk with wow. her cooking Wow. We, I will speak to Mia later on, if that's okay. Of and then course. your two daughters, uh, uh, your twins yep. as well. So you think it's possible to make it here in Ghana? 100%. Really? 100%. I think anything is possible. I think anything you put your mind to is possible. Okay. So yeah, you can. Well, time will tell, won't it? It's only three weeks yeah. in. But anything I put my mind to, I always achieve it by the grace of God. So Amen. I think for anyone, it's possible to achieve anything mm -hmm. if you put your mind to it and you're positive. Wow. So what advice do you have for those Ghanaians who think it's not possible to make it here in Ghana unless they go to the US and UK? Start being positive. Start with a positive attitude mm -hmm. and trying to make it in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, it's a conversation that I've had as well is that, mm -hmm. you know, anything to do with your hands, and you will always make money from it. Mm. Look how lush Ghana is. Yeah. People are always eating. Mm -hmm. Why would you not want to go into farming? Mm -hmm. Why would you not want to go into carpentry? Mm -hmm. Ghana is full of wood. Yeah. I mean, as we were driving up, there was some beautiful woodwork, yeah. tables yeah. and chairs. Yeah. If you were to export that kind of um, product to the UK, I mean, that's a huge, huge business. Mm -hmm. So stop looking. Often the things that we want, we're often looking afar for it, but mm -hmm. it's often right underneath your nose. Well, well, why do you think you guys' eyes are open to all these opportunities and we are not? I mean, that's a very interesting question. Maybe it could actually be programming. Education? I wouldn't say it's education because... I mean, the system of education here in Ghana makes people not really... I'm not saying that, yeah. but it's kind of prevent people from thinking critically. And creating there is that. Opportunities I have, I have noticed that, okay. the critical thinking, the mm -hmm. thinking outside of the box. Mm -hmm. But I was going to compare it to Jamaica. When I lived in Jamaica, 7 to 13, okay. and when I went back to the UK, I was way ahead um, in my education mm -hmm. than when I went to year 7. So I don't know what the education is like okay. here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, but I think you can make it in Ghana. Just I think you can. Mm -hmm. But again, who am I to say? I've not lived, I've not come in this in, mm -hmm. in the um, Ghanaian education system. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you're given a chance to like change one thing about Ghana, what would you change? Mindset. The mindset. Mindset. Okay. Because once your mindset is right, you mm -hmm. can literally achieve anything. And what I was actually going to say is as well, just minimise um, the TV. Okay. Because that is the whole part of programming. programming. You see okay. all this on the television and mm. you think the UK and the US is like that. Wow. I think YouTube is actually the future. Yeah. You can actually, because it's real. Yeah. I'm a real person, you're yeah. a real person, yes. <laughs> and we're saying real things. Yes. So come off the box and yeah, get wow. over to Someone the Someone will say the people on TV do are real. <laughs> no, they're not. Are they? They're, I don't think they are really, because really? It's, it's creating an image, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. What do you really like about Ghana? What would be the number one favorite thing? your favorite thing about Ghana? Just peace of mind. Peace. Peace of mind, that's wow. all. Just, you know, tranquility, good food, most importantly, the sun. Okay. As I've said, we are people of the sun. Yes. 
Um, so the sun, the sun means everything, mm -hmm. fresher air, mm -hmm. um, those are the most important things yeah. to me. Wow. Let's give advice to the diasporans watching, mm -hmm. the last advice. Yeah. Okay, they want to move back, business, visit, spiritual reasons. Um, give them some few advice before we sign off. My few advice would be follow mm -hmm. at Jam Fam to the motherland. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, you know, it's a new journey for mm -hmm. us and, and I hope you can see that we're mm -hmm. going to be quite open, mm -hmm. quite honest, quite straightforward. Mm -hmm. I would say come and visit okay. and don't just stay in Accra. Okay. I think Accra is getting over congested, yes. um, overpopulated, mm -hmm. overpriced mm -hmm. and you've got areas such mm -hmm. as this. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So ex you know, expand, come mm -hmm. out of Accra and see the country. Well, let's talk more about your YouTube. You created a YouTube channel. Yes, our family and again, um, everything happens for a reason. Mm -hmm. It wasn't meant to be because okay. we just decided in December. Okay and just started having a look around mm. and that's how we came across you. Yeah. So yeah, we just thought, why not? You mm -hmm. know, um, if you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> um, YouTube mm -hmm. and it is the future. Okay. So I do like to evolve. And so it's a new chapter. You know, we're not a family that does like to, mm -hmm. we are quite a private family. Mm. Hence dad's not here. He likes yeah. to, you know, <laughs> and it's, but it's new. You've got to move you've mm -hmm. got to change mm -hmm. you've got to evolve mm -hmm. so it's going to be an exciting time yeah. i am what, what should the viewers ex uh, expect on the channel what you should expect is honesty positivity most importantly mm -hmm. positivity mm -hmm. and you know we're all about attracting like-minded people we mm -hmm. really want to show ghana for what it is see how the children are transitioning see how the fa all, you know the highs and the lows mm -hmm. you're going to see lots of cooking from mia you know, our travels, meeting new people. I want to merge the gap as well between people returning and local Ghanaians. It's not just about the clubs and the osus mm -hmm. and all yeah. the nice things. I do okay. like to go and see more local mm -hmm. people as well. Okay. So it's a great time to yeah. join our channel. If you're watching right now, I need you guys to do me a favor. The name would be on the screen, please and please again go on their YouTube channel and subscribe and you won't be disappointed. They are such an amazing, you know, family. I really enjoyed our time hanging Thank out you. the other day. It was amazing. Oh, we loved it. Yeah, it was beautiful. And you, you, you even see that content there too, right? Yeah. On the YouTube channel. 100%. So please go support and show some love. So I would love to speak with your daughters and uh, your... Jones, yeah, where are they? So where are they? Let's... They're getting food. Jones, okay. so, call Ava and... Well, before I, I speak to your, um, your, your children, mm -hmm. Do you think it's all worth it you moving back? So far, it's more than worth it. And we're very much looking forward to the future. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, really worth it. And mm. I would say to anyone that's thinking about it, just do it. Just take a chance. You know, life is short. You can sit around and thinking, I might, I might not. Mm -hmm. And you've wasted years and wow. months. Take a chance. And wow. at the very worst case, you can go back. Yeah. If you want to. You still you, have your passport. You still have your passport. <laughs> oh, then let me ask this question. I asked someone, if this passport is taken from you, do you think you'd be able to live in Ghana? Someone like... In the, well, I've I got can. a Jamaican um, passport. Oh, you, oh, wow. And I, got, um, I've got, I was born in the UK, so I've mm. got a British passport okay. and a Jamaican, Jamaican passport. Okay. And the Jamaican passport is what has enabled me to be here. Oh, wow. So um, <laughs> there's your answer. Wow. So if they give you Ghanaian citizenship, will you take it? Uh, well, I want that ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching, get her some passport. <laughs> Please, quickly. <laughs> wow, it's been a wonderful conversation. Ghana, I don't understand. Why would you be stuck in England when you could be here? Mm -hmm. The sun hits different here, right? Yeah. <laughs> the weather, the air you breathe. In London, smoke everywhere. Yeah. Pollution. Batteries, all of this. Wow. Well, you but when you can be here in Ghana in the sun, in the nice cool in the, wow. in the, the, the t-shirt. You can't wear that in, the, in London by now. Is it winter now? 
No, it's summer. Some, summer. But, but it's, it's, it's still cold. It's, it's just still cold. The same. Yeah. yeah. So in Ghana, it's just nice. You have nice weather, nice beaches, nice people in Ghana. So why would you want to be anywhere else? else? What do you like so, so much about Ghana? Since the weather, the, the food, yeah, the, food the, nice the, people, the culture. The yeah. What about the people? How, like... Everyone's just nice here. Oh, okay. The community's a nice place. Well, yeah, what do you have to say? Um, Ghana's also really good for opportunities. opportunities. You know, there's like a good network of people that you can meet mm. and it's really easy to find opportunities and help you to grow. So smart. She's so young and she's talking about opportunities. So your eyes do see the opportunities. Yeah, but definitely. Let me tell you this, do you know Ghanaians who grew up on the continent thinks it's not possible to make it? Yeah, definitely. And you're saying there's opportunities. Yeah, definitely. There's like once you get into a network of people, there's opportunities that just that can just like line up. up for you. So if people are watching right now in the UK in the diaspora, what message do you have? Come, come, to come to Ghana. The Jam family, welcome on the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank I spoke to your mom not long ago and I wanted to speak to you guys. Okay, so before we start anything, can you introduce yourself? What's your name? Jones. Jones, okay. I'm Mia. Mia. And, and I'm Ava. Ava. And you guys are twins, right? Yeah. Wow. That's very interesting. You look alike, very similar. So, welcome to Ghana. Thank you. Thank okay, you. let me start with you, Mia. What yeah. was your first experience? How, how did it feel like when you stepped foot? Your mom brought you to Ghana for the first time. Well, I've been coming to Ghana for from the age of two, so mm. this wasn't my first time coming. Okay. But as soon as we landed, mm -hmm. it just felt like it was yeah. a good feeling. Really? But yeah. at what age did you feel like I'm, I'm experiencing Ghana now? Because when you're a child, it's just like everything is blur, you know, so you don't really see what's going on. You know that you were in Ghana, feel, but what, like at what I've, age? I feel like I've always known what's going oh, on. Oh, really? Honest. Like I've always experienced everything. Oh, wow. I've been coming for years now, so I really feel like it's home. Wow. I've got grandparents who live here as well, so mm. I've always just been around the culture and everything. Wow. wow. She told me your dad is, is, is Ghanaian. Yes. Wow. We'll talk about food later. Okay. I'll ask you what's your favorite Ghanaian food. But let me ask Jones, what was the first time like when you visited Ghana? I was really happy. Very happy? Because I was in where my dad was from, so mm -hmm. this felt like home. Wow. It felt like home? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure mom didn't drag you? Come come on, let's go to go. No? Okay, what about you? Uh, I can't remember like, mm -hmm. from what, the first, first time we mm -hmm. came here. But when we came here three weeks ago, it was just uh, a magical moment. Because mm -hmm. we haven't been here in so long, mm -hmm. and especially because we were supposed to come in December mm -hmm. and it didn't happen. Yeah. So it just felt nice to finally be here. Mm -hmm. I saw him crying. Yeah. Why? I haven't been here for so long. Wow. I just miss my dad. Wow. They're emotional. Emotional. Wow. What, what do you guys like about Ghana so far? You're here now. The food. The food. The people. Mm -hmm. And the culture. The life, yeah. The, the culture. culture and the lifestyle. Jones? Yeah. The temperature, how warm it is. Warm. Yeah. Wow. And you see the pool here? The beaches and all The beaches. Mm. Wow. Do you, do you get that in the UK? No. <laughs> you get beaches, but not like here. No, it, so it's different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You Ghana or UK? Which one do you like more? <laughs> Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. Are you sure you're not just saying it for the camera? No. no. You like Ghana more? Yeah. yeah. I know some kids are watching. Like, look, I want to go to the UK. And you're telling me you like Ghana more? No. You need to come here for like the, all the opportunities. Really? Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about opportunities. You, how old are you? If you don't mind. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. And you've been here and I saw you, you bake, you cook. Yeah. So I've been here for three weeks and um, I've just recently been on MX24 GH TV. Mm -hmm. I was cooking on Foodie Friday actually. Wow. Wow. You love cooking? Yes, I do. Wow. I want to be a chef when I'm older. Wow. Like so your yeah. dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about a little bit about food. What is like your favorite Ghanaian food? Um, I think maybe Banku and Okro Shoe. Banku and Okro. Banku and Okro again. No, like, really? it's my favourite. So, Banku and Okro here. Fufu light soup with um, goat meat. Which one is? Banku and Okro Shoe. Wow, what, what, are you, what about you? Jollof rice. Jollof rice? With what? Chicken? Yeah, with chicken. With you? Jollof as well. Jollof. Okay, okay. Interesting. 
Wow. What's your favorite? Fufu. Mm. And no, no, now it's it's changing a little bit. Before it was fufu light soup. It became banko and okro, and now it's back to fufu and light I soup. I don't really. You don't like fufu? I'm not, no, I'm not a fan of it. Really? Wow. I can't understand that. Okay, so <clears throat> you've seen some opportunities here in Ghana. Yeah. What, what would you say you've seen that would be able to make money or, you know, be a profitable business if you should indulge in business here in Ghana? Well... As I want to be a chef, I'm always open to new opportunities. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to be launching my business on the 21st of August okay. at the block party front back. Okay. So I'm going to be doing my waffles and also jam and juice. Wow. And you're just 15 years old? Yes. And you have a business now yes. and it'll be bringing it's in money? Yes, be launching wow. next month. This is beautiful. Thank you. Wow. Do you, do you see yourself doing the same in the UK? Definitely. I, when I become a chef, I mm -hmm. want to have chains of restaurants all around the world. Mm -hmm. But Ghana will definitely be the, the first base, mm -hmm. like the home mm -hmm. of where my business is launched. Okay. The centre of everything. Yes. And then you'll have a ripple effect. Do you see yourself, you know, you know, going to other African countries in the future? Yeah, definitely. As a family, we've also wanted to go to places like Tanzania. Okay. So we definitely want to, like, explore the whole continent of Africa. Wow, that's beautiful. So if young people are watching like yourself... You know, sometimes their mom say, hey, let's go to Africa, but they don't feel like it. It's like, no, I don't want to go. But you are here now and you're doing great things. If they are watching right now, what would be your advice to them? I would say just give it a go. Mm. Not everybody wants to come to Africa, but I feel like it's not something that you might not want to do, but something mm -hmm. that you have to do. Okay. It's an experience that everybody should go through. Okay. And I feel like you'll really enjoy it once you get here. It's okay. something really new and exciting to explore. Okay. Wow. I think people will, won't like it the first time they come. Because <laughs> sometimes it gets a little bit hot and... Yeah. Not always people are mm -hmm. going to be always mm -hmm. asking me stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in the UK, sometimes it's like you just don't have the same experience that mm -hmm. you have in Africa. Wow, wow, wow. What about you? Since you're talking about opportunities, you're more likely to get a chance here than in England. Mm. So why waste your time in England when you could come here and build something? Mm. When in England, you'll have to wait like years, but in Ghana, as soon as you come, you can do something. Mm. But if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Wow, yeah. that's a smart. <laughs> but I know it can be all roses, you know, everything is perfect. Obviously, you had, you know, nice establishment in the UK. There's running water every day. The AC is always on. I mean, you have no inconveniences. Water is flowing. But here, there's been some, you know, interesting things happening. What would you say has been your greatest inconveniences so far since you guys moved back, you know, to Ghana? I wouldn't say that we've had like a lot of inconveniences mm -hmm. as, we've, as we've only been here for three weeks mm -hmm. but maybe like the light off situation like it can happen the anytime so. <laughs> any day you can just be sat in your living room and mm -hmm. all of a sudden it just goes off light that off. actually yes. happened yesterday <laughs> <laughs> but will you say that would stop you from like living here for the long term no definitely no. definitely not because we also you have to plan so we also have things like torches okay and candles which we can always light when things like okay. that happen okay uh, do you see yourself doing anything kind of business when you grow up in Ghana here? No. What do you want to do when you grow up? Footballer. Footballer. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's Ghana football team. Mm. You can play for Ghana, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Barcelona. Mm. No. Who do Chelsea. You play for? No. Who do you want to play for? Arsenal. Arsenal. Oh, I see. I, I even made a mistake. I see your shirt. I should have known that. <laughs> you see, I don't like football. <laughs> what do you want to do when you I grow up? I want to be a performer, a singer performer. or a dancer. And I used wow. to do gymnastics. So. You want to be like Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> More than Beyonce. Yeah. Wow, this is beautiful. Tell me, what what do you really like um, about Ghana uh, education learning so far that you, you didn't get in the UK? Well, we haven't enrolled in school yet mm -hmm. in Ghana. And I'm actually going to be going back to the UK to finish off my okay. last year of secondary school. Okay. But for the twins, you might want to ask them how they yeah. feel when they finally make it. Now. Yeah. You know, the, the, the school system, the friends making, you know, back in the UK, you don't usually see people of your own, you know. You know what I'm saying? Colour and yeah, everything. Not, not really. Yeah. Not friendship. Much, yeah. Mm -hmm. You would only see them at school. Like, anywhere else, you would think that they're just strangers because, like, you don't really socialise mm. with them. But in school, you can, like, 
socialise and make friends. Okay. Okay. But do you guys have friends, you two? Well, not in Ghana, but okay. in the UK we had friends. You had friends. friends yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you do you see yourself making friends here? Yeah. Okay. It's been three weeks. Wait till a month or two and then you, you probably now you don't have any friends here now? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, are you looking forward to? It? Yeah. Okay. We all have two friends. You have <laughs> two friends. Two friends, really? Yeah. Eat double. Okay. <laughs> 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 do you, do you guys go out go out more often? Not really. Not really. In England, we have used to have like me and Jones. Mm -hmm. We used to go to a club after school. We mm -hmm. walked there ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then, well, in England, not in England, in Ghana, mm -hmm. it's a wonderful place, but we haven't really found anywhere to go. Mm -hmm. We go out to like eat and stuff, but mm -hmm. not actually to do something. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, let me ask you this. If you have the chance to change something about Ghana, what would you change? You? Um, I would say maybe maybe they should start up things like youth clubs for people of like, for the youth to mm -hmm. find people of their own age so mm -hmm. they can socialise. Because okay. in the UK it was a very common thing. Okay. They used to go to their after school club and they'll, they'll go there with their friends and mm. also meet new people. Mm -hmm. And in Ghana, I think that they need somewhere for all young people to meet new people so they okay. can become... Okay. Yeah, but we don't have much of them right now. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I would change the way people, like, it's the way people act mm. around other people. Like, How? Because sometimes I think if other people see people of the other race in the oh. car, they might react differently. Differently, okay, okay. What would be some reactions that you've experienced? Maybe they, I haven't experienced really any. Okay. But you feel at like home though. You don't you don't people don't call you Brony or anything like that. Okay, okay. That's good. What about you? I actually don't really know what I would change about Ghana. If you even just look around, there's yeah. not, nothing really to change. Yeah, yeah. everything is perfect. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about the view where we are now? Yeah, it's really nice. It's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Would, yeah. would you expect something like this to be here in Ghana? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Really? Okay, you guys, ha you guys are lucky. You had a very good family who taught you about Africa. Yeah. People really had so much stereotype about Africa that we'll be. By now, you think I'll be on tree somewhere, you know, hopping from one tree to another. People really do have that perception, but that's not the case for you guys. Definitely not. Okay. Well, what well, if you have a message for the people watching right now? Um, okay, let's talk about your YouTube channel too. Yeah. You would be doing some stuff there. Tell the people yeah, what will you so be doing. We have a family cha channel mm -hmm. at Jam Fam to the Motherland, but I've just started up my own channel. Oh, really? I'm um, called Mia Mia Quaino, okay. which I'm going to be showing some food recipes. Okay. And the twins, they're also starting up their own channel. Oh, wow! Wow! The, the Quaino twins. Wow! Really? So everybody's wow. starting up their channels, and we're all looking forward to seeing how this goes. Wow! Tell the viewers what they should expect when they subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe to the channel, you should expect good content, views of the way Africa really is. Really, not, yeah. Not how people say it. Mm -hmm. You can see how actual, actually good Africa is. Wow. Yeah, yeah. and it can be for every age group. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't have to be for like older like older yeah. or younger. But from your perspective, so children like yourself or you're not even children, but your age mates would see Africa in your eyes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that they're makes sense. just about to release their trailer. Okay. And I've just released my first video of me making you have. um Ghanaian fish and chips. And it's on the YouTube channel yes, right now. Is. Share the link, the, the name of the channel once again, spell it out and I'll put it on the screen. And if you guys are watching, please don't dis don't disgrace me. <laughs> just go there and subscribe. You know, check them out and then do your fish and chips. I'm I'm very impressed your age and trying to be more entrepreneurial mindset. To yeah. It's amazing, I'm telling you. Thank I wish you. I had that when I was growing up. So please go there and just, you know, follow them, check them out and yeah. So share the details with them. Okay, before. so my channel is Mia Quaino, M I A Q U A Y N O R. Ours is the Quaino Twins. T-H-E-Q-U-A-Y-N-O-R. It's not out yet, but you'll see it in the Soon. next few days. Okay, Definitely. hopefully. And then okay. also make sure to subscribe to Jam Fam to the Motherland. Okay, beautiful. Am I leaving anything out? No. No? no. Do you want to ask me any question? Yes. Okay, ask when me. When did you like, start building up your YouTube career and stuff? I, I started YouTube somewhere in 2015, 16. Was that when you was in Ghana or in No, I was in India. Yeah, I was in India. I was doing Bachelor's of Science in Information Technology. So I went to college in, um, in 2014. 
so I was, you know, just how to make money online. <laughs> and I came across YouTube. So I started making conspiracy videos. And that's what my YouTube started for me. But I mean, somewhere in 2016, 17, they, they kind of deleted it. Yeah. So I had to start again. So in 2017, I came to Ghana and I started making videos. Street quiz, we go to the street and we ask people some funny questions. Example, um, what is the um, English name for maybe some funny fruit? Do you know um, there's a fruit? Funny questions. And then we ask people and then they say funny answers and then we edit and put it online. So we started this in 2017. It just evolved from there. And now I'm doing Africa to the World Movements. Yeah. Where, because I started this because I was in China and people don't really know anything about Africa. So I thought this would educate people of what we have here in Africa. And I started this. So for 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, it's been a while. It's been a while. What do you need your... some tricks? <laughs> Yes, we do need some tricks. Yeah. yeah. What was your experience like in China? <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I think people are more ignorant. I don't say racism, but I think they're ignorant. They don't know what Africa is. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we're doing something like this. You coming to the continent, making videos, we educate people, you know, who are in the diaspora and even even other races who don't know about anything about Ghana. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I have one more question. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Um, um, oh, what was your, you see how you're talking about food? Yeah. What was your favourite food in China? Oh, it's, it's called mian tiao, meaning noodles, okay, in Chinese, mian tiao. And I have chao fan, I have two favourite, noodles and fried rice, Chinese fried rice. Nuro, nuro, jiro chao fan. Did you like sushi? Did you try? Sushi, yeah, I like sushi, but I don't really like that's it Japanese too much. Over. Yeah, that's oh. ja that's <laughs> Japanese. Yeah, we have that in we have um, Japanese restaurants everywhere, but I don't really like sushi. The fact that I'm going to eat raw fish and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan. Yeah, you know, I'm an African. I want it to be you know spiced and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a very wonderful conversation. Thank you. Send some last you. message to the people. Oh, you already did that, right? Yes, yeah. we did. Okay. So we had a wonderful conversation with the Jam family. And if you did enjoy this video, please, please like, comment down what you like about the video, share to friends and family. And yeah, if you guys have a last message to the um, people watching, what would that message be before we sign off? Guys. Come to Ghana. Come, Come to yes. Ghana. And oh, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then my last question, do you think Ghana is better than the UK for you guys? Yes. Yes? yes? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Definitely. Come to Ghana, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Come home. Come so subscribe to their YouTube channel. And yes, it's been a wonderful one. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, let's say bye-bye to the camera. Bye. bye.